I want to have a look at some different groups we can add on to some simple chemicals. So we can take a basic chain and we can add on a variety of different groups and let's have a look at them. We start off with a very simple core molecule, the methyl group. And if we put in an oxygen and a hydrogen, there we've managed to make methanol. Doing the same, we can do this with the ethane group. And what I'm going to do is start off with here ethane. And if we then take off one of these hydrogens, put it on an oxygen, I've now got ethanol, ethyl alcohol, methanol, ethanol. To do the same thing, we can take three carbons and we can put the hydrogens on there. So if we just populate this to make propane, then what I can do is I can remove one of those groups, add an oxygen, and this time I've made propanol. Methanol, ethanol, propanol. Of course, this group now can appear in two different places. We could just put it on the other end, but in fact turning it round shows us we've still got propan one -ol. But if I place this in the middle, then I've got propan 2-ol, and this will have different chemical properties. So this is the family of the ethanols. The alcohol, methanol, ethanol, and propanol. Let's take these, but see what else we can do with them. And what I could do is remove a couple of hydrogens and put in a double bond. Now I'm going to put the double bond in with the oxygen and doing that gives me the ALS. This is methanal. Carbon, double bonded to an oxygen and the rest of hydrogens. We can do the same with the ethanol to turn that to ethanol. Take off the oxygen and then we can put in a double bond and here we've got the same basic group the this time ethanol and we can do the same with this propane we've got the propane we can now put in a double bond here and this will make propanol. So these are the aldehydes. Methanol, ethanol, propanol. With the longer groups, it is possible that I can put the carbon containing the double bond in the middle. This gives me a different type of molecule and this one, because of its position of the C double bond O, makes a compound called propanone or in its old name acetone or nail varnish remover. Let's put this back as it was. I've got double bond groups. Basically, the alcohols, the ols, have been oxidised by losing a hydrogen to make these ols. What happens if we oxidise them further? Well, that puts this alcohol group back on. And instead of getting an alcohol and an aldehyde, we get new properties, and this is the oic acids, the K 
carboxylic acid. So this one is methanoic acid. We can do the same with the ethanol and replace one of the hydrogens with the alcohol group OH and this makes ethanoic acid. Ethanoic acid otherwise known as acetic acid or more commonly vinegar. With the propanol we can oxidize that by putting an oxygen group with a hydrogen on there and we've now made propanoic acid. So here we've got methanoic acid, we've got ethanoic acid and we've got propanoic acid. I formed carboxylic acids. What happens if we can react a carboxylic acid with a different group with that of an alcohol. So here I've got propanoic acid and I've got ethanol. If I can react these two together then we can remove a molecule of water and as we connect these two together I have now made an ester. The ester is ethyl propanoate. Starting off with ethane what I'm going to do is add a different type of group onto this and we can play with a nitrogen and putting a nitrogen on here gives us an amine group. So this is ethylamine, ethylamine. Now we can get clever and if I take the other end and let's put a double bond on this I'm going to put a double bonded oxygen on there and an alcohol group. This is making a carboxylic acid. If I join this back on here, I've got rather an interesting chemical. I've got an acid group on this side and an amine group on this side and this makes an amino acid. The amino group and the acid group and we can replace one of these hydrogens with a whole manner of different groups to make all the different amino acids that are found in the body. So there's the amino group. What else can we make? Well we can also make other interesting chemicals based on this double bond and if I've got this double bond O then I've got the at the moment the Al group here we have ethanol I can replace this with O H to form the carboxylic acid or I could replace it with O C L which makes an acyl chloride which has again very different properties to a carboxylic acid.